Good afternoon, my name is Nathan Parks, and this is a 2010 Cadillac DTS Superior Statesman. And as you can tell, it is not black for once. It's actually white. It has a navy blue stripe and a white um, elk top. In the front here, you do have flag mounts and staffs. You also have a wigwag headlamps. So there's a button on the, dri on the dash in the driver's compartment that'll switch these on and off to act as like a strobe as a part of the factory headlight. It is built on the Cadillac DTS platform, so that gives you upgraded brakes, wheels, and suspension components for the added weight of the Hearst conversion. Uh, it was a certified chassis back in 2010 when this vehicle was built. Um, as, I, as I mentioned, white with a navy blue stripe, white elk top. It does have lower chrome on the side of it. It's not rocker chrome, but lower chrome. Just a way to dress up this Superior Statesman. Hopping into the rear here, once again, that navy theme is throughout. Both the driver compartment and the rear compartment are navy. Uh, the door cards are navy, even the curtains are navy. And then you get a black canyon floor. So playing off of that blue and white theme uh, throughout the entire vehicle. You do have a closed church truck compartment here. You do have the beautiful door with the sliding top. Forces you to store that church truck horizontally. However, it does look absolutely stunning when it is folded down. Keeps everything nice and clean. You do have an umbrella tray down right here. Uh, access to that is on both sides of the vehicle, so you can store anything you would like. Traditionally, it is set up for umbrellas. Two chrome nameplate holders right here. Those are mirrored on the driver door as well. Overall, though, this vehicle is in really good shape. This is a steel door, and you, even you can tell how clean it is down below here. No rust whatsoever on this vehicle. Working your way back, you can see the signature Superior Landau bar. Uh, coming to the rear door here, that uh, white elk top surround here with the rear window. You do get two bumperettes here to protect the rear bumper from any sort of damage from a church truck. You also get some parking sensors that are built into the rear bumper. They will beep as you get closer to an object. One beautiful aspect about this 2010 Superior Statesman is it does have a manual extend table. These are quite rare for this vintage. All you have to do is pull on the handle right here, walk it all the way out. This helps greet the casket on the church truck and helps protect that rear bumper. So all you would do is walk with a pallbearer, place it right here, and slide the casket right in. Tool, a dual fixed uh, beer pin plates on the front here. You get center pins for a smaller casket or a uh, Parks urn carrier, and then you have your beer pin plate in the back here. To push the table back in, all you do is push this handle forward and walk it all the way back in. When it finally gets in, you lock that forward, and that's it. There is a quick adjust beer pin, it's on the side here. We try to tighten them against the wall so they don't rattle. Quick adjust button right here, push that button down, and then it allows you some adjustability quickly. And then you can tighten that thing right down and cinch it against the casket. As you notice, there is a second pin back here, this little nub. This is a lockout for the rear extend table if something ever was to happen to it. So all you have to do is take this and place it right here. This blocks the ability from the table to be able to be pulled out, locking it in place if something ever happened with that mechanism during a funeral, during a procession, or in front of the family, you can always lock that feature out. Uh, just a safety feature and it's always stored to the left of the beer pin right there on the left side of the coach cabin. Otherwise, black canyon floor, navy blue sides. Uh, the lighting is a little dim. However, in 2010, this was the lighting that was provided. It is non-LED, so you get two lights up top, two lights on each side. Uh, overall, the Superior is absolutely beautiful with its white exterior and navy interior. Closing this rear load door and walking your way to the driver's side here. Once again, that beautiful white elk top with the white exterior and that navy blue stripe. In here, you once again have another closed church truck compartment. Uh, it does make everything look much nicer in here when it's completely closed off. Behind door number one here. You do have a full-size matching spare along with your jack and toolkit. It even has the cover over it. A lot of customers who have these vehicles for a long period of time end up losing that cover. This one does come with it. Just shows you the care this previous owner took. Uh, there's a clasp on the left for that door. I tend not to use it very often as it is a little clunky on every DTS. However, it will lock that panel in place. It doesn't really move whatsoever. But your other side access to the umbrella tray is located right there as well. Navy blue door card with your two chrome nameplate holders, thumb screws provided. Uh, you do have room in front of the two fixed beer pins up here to store any items for the funeral home. If you want to dress this with flowers or dress flowers along the side, you do have that flexibility with that extra room right there. 
Jumping last but not least into the driver's compartment here. You do once again have that navy blue interior. It perfectly matches the rear. Uh, so let's jump in and take a peek. Sitting inside this 2010 Cadillac DTS Superior Statesman. Once again, navy blue interior. You get a navy wrapped wheel here. Cruise controls on your left, media controls on your right. There is volume located behind the steering wheel. Manual tilt column. There's a little relief on the left and you can tilt the wheel up and down. No telescoping, unfortunately, in the DTS chassis. You do get uh, automatic headlights on the left. Uh, it is a column shifter, so more classic style. It's a physical key. However, it does have um, remote unlocks on the key fob itself, uh, but it is a physical key. Infotainment-wise, AM, FM radio, Sirius XM radio. You get a CD player along with an auxiliary jack right down below. Uh, that way you can plug in your phone for music. Uh, dual zone climate control. AC in this vehicle works absolutely fantastic. DTSs are known for ice cold AC. You do get a little tray down below here. This gives you a cigarette lighter, so 12 volt outlet. Uh, be able to plug in your phone and charge it because this vehicle does not have USB built in. Cup holder down here as we're looking down the lower console here. Cup holder. You do get a nice center console in here. There's a little coin slot in here. Uh, basically let you put your coins in. Seal it off right there. Um, popping this open. You do get a lower tray as well for more storage. This can act as a third jump seat. There's a seat belt actually located down between the two, the driver and the center seat, if need be. But folding these all back up, both the driver and the passenger seat are blue navy leather. Uh, both are full power as well. So they're power adjust forward and back, up and down, and uh, the back half. Blue, navy blue carpet in really good shape. No stains or anything crazy on it. Uh, the one thing I want to mention is the wigwag headlights in the front. The switch for that is located up on the headliner here. There's a little rocker switch. Uh, the vehicle does have to be running as it is the factory headlights that blip on and off. It's basically the high beam turning on and off. Uh, there's a module installed from the previous customer. But overall, the interior of this vehicle is brand new. It looks pretty much brand new for 2010, uh, and it has 45,000 miles on it. Thank you very much for taking a peek at this 2010 Cadillac DTS Superior Statesman. Once again, this is one of the few white on white vehicles we have currently in stock. And with the navy blue interior, it matches perfectly. Uh, as you can see, once again, the rear ca uh, casket compartment does have a full extend table in here. It's a manual extend table, the preferred version over the electric. You do get flag mounts and staffs on the front of the vehicle along with those wigwag he headlamps. Uh, Black Canyon floor in the rear with that navy blue driver compartment. 45,000 original miles. It is front wheel drive on chrome wheels with white walls. If you'd like to inquire about this vehicle, please give us a call at 800-229-5008 or visit us at parksuperior.com where you can see 80 plus photos of this vehicle, a walk around demo, and this beautiful demo right here. Once again, thank you very much and I look forward to speaking with you.